Oh, sorry, I didn't see there. This is uh, my PlayStation 1 collection. I was just reading up on Bubsy 3D. Apparently, it's establishing a new standard in the platform genre according to Next Generation. And we all know how right on Next Generation was. Bubsy 3D, this game sucks. Um, it's horrible. I hate it so much. My most hated game of all time. <laughs> I've seen the videos. Oh, the game's not that bad. No, it's fucking bad. But they went on to make Siphon Filter, and um, this is a pretty good series. You run around, shooting shit, shoot people with taser gun, set them on fire. A lot of fun. I always felt like the guy was kind of skating around, though. It had a weird feel to it. Am I alone? Intelligent Cube. Uh, this is my favorite puzzle game on the PlayStation. And you play as this little guy, and you gotta avoid these cubes as they try and crush you. Great puzzle game. Toe ball number one. Fighting game where it also has a quest mode, and you kind of run around through mazes, and then you get in fights. It turns into a fighting game. This came with the Final Fantasy VII demo, which made it sell a lot of copies. But the game is really great. <clears throat> Hellboy Asylum Seeker. This game sucks, but it's Hellboy, and it's got some cool artwork on it. Silent Bomber. This is a great game. You run around, you, you use bombs as your weapon. Uh, very cool third-person action game. Driver. You are the wheel man. Um, the cool thing about this one back in the day was it lets you do, like, video replays and you set them up and then look like a movie so you kind of like make your own little car chase movie with it really fun game though <clears throat> iron hander squaresoft shoot em up uh your little iron hander guy there you got a weapon up here you got a weapon down here you can detach this weapon and hook on to another weapon and use that um throughout the game Kind of go out stealing your enemy's weapons. It's pretty great. It's a really great game, but very difficult, um, as most shoot 'em ups are. Great music in that one too. Robotron X. I love Robotron. Um, I don't love this one as much as the N64 one, but this is a very close second. And Spyro's Rage, uh, what, <laughs> Spyro's Rage, Spyro Ripto's Rage, I don't even know which one in the series this is, number three I'm gonna guess, I don't know, but it's Spyro, we all love Spyro, Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, The Hidden Empire, it's Star Wars, it's got full motion video all over the place, it's kinda cheesy, I love it. Jet Moto, uh, you play this racing game, it's these futuristic jet skis you're riding around on, pretty fun. It has a little bit of a learning curve to it, but once you get it down, it's a lot of fun. Hot Shots Golf, uh, this is like, let's make a golf game for everybody, and they did it. Everyone seems to love this, they made a bunch of sequels, it's a lot of fun. MDK, uh, love this game. I love most of these games because I only really buy games that I love for the most part. There's a few in here, but one I'm going to get to next. Um, anyways, MDK, this is a great game. You you got a little sniper rifle on your helmet there. You got a parachute on your back. Um, this is by Shiny, the people that did Earthworm Jim. It's got that weird sense of humor to it, too. Uh, and Spice World. This game is utter garbage. I don't know why I own this. I don't know why I bought this. Spur of the moment kind of thing. They look like Bratz dolls. Apparently it's based on the movie, but you wouldn't know that. It's all a bunch of mini games, and all of them are just pure shit. Pure shit. And there's all these, like, interviews with the Spice Girls on here, too. Like, who the fuck cares? Road Rash. Love Road Rash. Love the series. Uh, this one's very cool. It's got a nice soundtrack. Got Soundgarden, Monster Magnet, and more F FMV little cutscenes, which I love because they're always so corny. And Grand Theft, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> wow, it's late. Gran Turismo. Um, 
PlayStation's Pinnacle Racing game simulator. Um, this is not arcadey at all. This is very like simulation, and it's really cool. I think this game really holds up well today. Uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, um, good game, but not as good as Part 2, which is right here. This is the best in the series. Nothing beats this. Nothing comes close to beating this, in my opinion. Um, that's all. It's Resident Evil 2. Buster Brothers Collection. Um, this has three different Buster Brothers games in, in it, on it. And um, this is a lot of fun. This is like super addictive puzzle game. Um, you just at the bottom of the screen and you're shooting these bubbles that come on the top. And it sounds easy, but it's not. It gets a lot harder. Um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, a twitch in time. I love Sabrina the Teenage Witch. That show ruled. It had a weird dry sense of humor that I loved. Uh, and Salem the Cat was just fucking amazing. This game sucks, obviously. It's generic uh, 3D action platformer. Platformer. I shouldn't even say action. Platformer. That's. We'll, we'll get that, that later. Here we go. Okay, we're going to do this one first. Colony Wars. This is a great uh, series of space shooters on the PlayStation. I really love this series. I'm still working on the first one, so I haven't gotten to the sequels. Calling It Wars Vengeance, haven't gotten to this yet, someday I will. And the third one, Calling It Wars Red Sun, again, haven't gotten to it. I'm sure it's awesome, it looks very cool. Dukes of Hazard 2, Daisy Dukes It Out. Now this game, you're the Duke Brothers, you're running around in the General Lee, fucking shit up, just causing chaos. I mean, not really. It's it's a shitty, stupid game. I don't know. But it's Duke's a Hazard, and I grew up on that shit. Tomb Raider. Um, we all know Tomb Raider, right? Triangle titties. As far as I can see. Um, this game, like, really blew me away when it first came out. I thought it was really great. Not sure how well it holds up. I haven't played this in years. I should go through and play this again. Um... I remember when the T-Rex appeared, it scared the shit out of me, because I was not expecting that at all. Spoiler alert if you haven't played Tomb Raider. Skull Monkeys. Um, this is an awesome little platformer game. It's got one of those weird covers, too. Uh, everything's like made of clay in this game. It has a really cool style. Really bizarre sense of humor. Love it. Tekken 3, if you don't like Tekken 3, get the fuck out. Stop watching my video. Apocalypse starring Bruce motherfucking Willis. Third person action game. You shoot shit. You listen to Bruce Willis talk a bunch of shit. It's fun. Blast Chamber. This is a great uh, four player game. It uses the multi-tap. So if you have the multi-tap, you should get this game. Super cheap game. You can find this for like a dollar. Um... <laughs> Maybe not a dollar, but very close to a dollar. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun if you have a bunch of people playing. Thrasher, Skate, and Destroy. Rockstar's um, call to the whole <laughs> Tony Hawk craze that was going on in the 90s. Um, this is a really cool game, actually. It has uh, Ragdoll Physics, which I loved back in the day. It has an awesome soundtrack. Controls are a little weird, but once you get the hang of them, it's pretty fun. Crusader No Remorse. This game needs to get much more love. Uh, think Diablo, but futuristic shooter. <clears throat> yeah, speaking of Diablo, we got Diablo. Um, PlayStation Edition, which this is two-player. And I played a lot of this back in the day. I never played it on PC, so I can't compare the two, really. I'm sure the PC's better, but this is my version, and I'll always love this version. Tokyo Highway Battle. Uh, love this game, too. This is an awesome little racer where you're just racing on a highway in Tokyo, and obviously. 
And uh, it's just kind of a continuous race. And you upgrade and you run into new opponents as you're racing along. It's very unique. Um, Heart of Darkness. This is a cool game. It's got some great animation involved in it. And you're this little boy, you get transported in this weird land where these shadow creatures are coming after you, and you meet up with these stupid aliens, and I don't know. It's it's a cool game, very hard. It plays like uh, Out of This World or Flashback, that kind of style. Prince of Persia, old school. Uh, Treasures of the Deep, this game is one of my favorites on the system. Gets no love at all, I feel. And... It needs a lot more love. Namco game. You're a diver. You're looking for treasure. You're fighting sharks. You're upgrading your little submarine as you go. You're fighting other divers. You're looking at shipwrecks and shit. It's really great. Highly recommended. Fifth Element. Um, love the movie. That's why I bought the game. The game sucks. I mean, what can you say? It's it's not a good game. Look at that. She looks weird, right? I don't like how she looks there. Her hair looks like really bizarre. I don't know if it's coming through with all the reflection. Anyways, it sucks. And there goes my pile of games. Ace Combat 2, the best in the series, much like Resident Evil 2. In my opinion, it didn't get any better than this. Um, yeah, this is a great game. Barbie Race and Ride. This game sucks. Obviously, it sucks. Um, but wow, it really sucks. One. This is a cool little uh, third-person action game. It plays. It, it reminds me a lot of Apocalypse, that Bruce Willis one. You're just some super soldier, and you know, you're fighting against the man. The usual shit. NFL Blitz 2000. This is NFL Blitz, but it takes place in the year 2000. Xena Warrior Princess. Never watched this show, really. I mean, I've seen a couple episodes, but I never liked it. But um, I picked this up because I thought it was funny to own, and it's actually a pretty fun game. Surprised by how good it was. Ninja Shadow of Darkness. Uh, guys... The team that made Tomb Raider made this, and I don't know. They tried to make a ninja game. It's It was kind of weird. It's been a long time since I played this, so I can't tell you if it's good or bad, honestly. Mediocre. I'm sure it's very mediocre. Colin McRae Rally. Um, I love rally games. I've never played this, though. I haven't played this. i got to put it in my pile of games to play. Speed Racer, this is a fun racer, you're in the Mach 5, you got all your little gadgets, you know, and you can use them in the races, it's a very hard game though, I can't get anywhere in this game for some reason, I suck at it, but um, this was recommended to me by a guy named Mark, um, Crazy Pizza Man, check him out, anyways, fun game, Project Overkill, this game is super gory, uh, top-down shooter Diablo with blood and guns and craziness. Another game that's like super cheap. Like this shit's everywhere and super affordable. Pick it up because it's a lot of fun. Um, no one can stop Mr. Domino. Not really sure how to describe this game. So I'm not even going to try. Just know no one can stop Mr. Domino. Devil Dice, you play a little devil, you run around on dice, you try and match them up, it's a puzzle game, it's a lot of fun, Satan, we'll save that for last, Parappa the Rapper, uh, you know, it's Parappa, you rap, this is kind of the first, like, um, this is kind of what Guitar Hero turned into, basically, right, uh, there's a level on here where you're trying not to shit your pants on a date and it's amazing Mortal Kombat Trilogy don't need to say anything about this if you don't know what this is then why the fuck are you watching a video about some dude's Playstation pickup video, not pickup video, collection video whatever the fuck this is it's Mortal Kombat, get it together Bushido Blade um, 
this game is really cool. This is Squaresoft's unique fu unique fighting game. Um, it's like one hit kills, or you can wound your your opponent. If you slice them in the legs, they're gonna be gimping around, and you can actually even like forfeit the match and um, just kind of like give in and let the other guy just kill you. It's pretty great. Teletubbies. Wait. Play with the Teletubbies. I don't know who this game is meant for because it's like anyone young enough to actually enjoy this game is not going to know how to even push a button. So I don't know what this is. I don't, but I had to get it because they're freaky as fuck. They terrify me. I had nieces and nephew, a niece and nephew that were, uh, way into this when they were very very little like toddlers and shit freaked me the fuck out I'm sure a lot of you can relate that fucking creepy sun and everything fuck that show point blank point blank uh this is a great think of like uh wario wear but with a light gun right that's kind of what this is this is a lot of a lot of fun just crazy arcade kind of shooting Gunfighter, Legend of Jesse James. This is a cheapo little light gun game. Also uses the gun con, but on the back it says, uh, I don't know, you can't read it, but it says uses the special controller, but it's it means the gun con. I don't know why it says special controller. Judge Dread. Cool thing about this is, one, it's a light gun game. Uses the gun con, but it's not based on the movie, and... If you like the Judge Dredd comic book, I don't know. This isn't that good, but um, it's cool that they didn't base it off the movie. This is like its own thing. It's based off the comic. They got full motion video um, cutscenes. They're very short, but they put a lot of effort into it. They got a guy that plays Dredd very well. Um, I thought whoever they got to play him did a great job. And the costumes in it are really cool, too. Like I was surprised by the effort they put into that. Time Crisis um, came with the gun con. You duck, duck and cover, rise up, shoot people. You know, you know the drill. Project Horned Owl. This is a cool light gun game that's very anime. Uh, it uses the, what is it, the Enforcer? It doesn't use the gun con, unfortunately, but. Yeah, this is just an anime type shooter and you shoot robots and shit. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> Die Hard Trilogy. Um, this has a light gun game on it, third person game, and a driving game on it. And in the driving game, you get blood all over your windshields when you run over pedestrians and shit. And in the Saturn version, they took that out. So if you're going to get this, get it on PlayStation. Not the Saturn. Crash Team Racing. This is one of my favorite kart racers ever. And I put it up right there with Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart. And yeah, I put Diddy, Diddy Kong before Mario Kart. I, I said it. Ghost in the Shell. Um, this game is awesome. You play as the little tank from the movie. And you climb on walls and shit, and you just blow shit up. It's a lot of fun. VIP starring Pamela Anderson. Never watched the show. I might have caught like a couple minutes of it here and there. But um, it was a terrible show, and it's a terrible game. Codename Tenka. This game's pretty cool. It's a first-person shooter that doesn't get talked about that much and it's a very cool game highly recommended yeah recommended not highly sub-zero wait mortal kombat mythologies sub-zero this is like a platformer slash fighting game starring sub-zero it's very hard and it's very cheesy blasto this was i think like Sony was trying to make another mascot character, kind of like Crash or Spyro, and they came up with Blasto. Never took off. I love this game, though. I really like it. It's a lot of fun. It's very simple 3D platformer, but it's got um, 
Phil Hartman did the voice of Blasto. Rest in peace. Tenchu Stealth Assassins. Feudal Japan. You're a ninja. You're running around silently killing people. Blood spurting out of their necks and shit. It's awesome. Mobile Light Force. These bitches right here on this cover, they're not in the game. This is Gunbird, which is a shoot 'em up and where you play as like a anime witch and a dude in a helicopter and some like anime rocketeer kind of guy with a jetpack. This is some bullshit American cover. I don't know what they're doing here. This is nonsense. But if it, so if you ever see this, don't be misled by this nonsense right here cuz this is, game is awesome. There's my pile again. X-Files. If you're a fan of X-Files, I'd say pick this up because it's basically another episode. It's just full motion video. Um, I'm not that into it. It's pretty stupid, but <laughs> if you like X-Files, pick it up for sure. Fear Effect. This game is great. Uh, kind of like a Resident Evil type game. The way it plays, at least. Um, looks Looks like an animated movie in a way. The graphics are very unique. For the time at least and I remember there was a lot of like ads for this that were very focused on the whole lesbian aspect of this game 90s were fucking weird Parasite Eve um, awesome fucking game and this game takes place on Christmas Eve so technically I think this counts as a Christmas game I like to play it around Christmas time it has a unique little combat system to it. Um, yeah, very cool. Jackie Chan Stuntmaster. This game's awesome because Jackie Chan did all the voice work. It's it's a platformer beat 'em up with a lot of like dialogue from Jackie Chan. It's pretty funny. All right, we're gonna get into okay. We got Wu Tang. Shaolin style. This game is nuts. You can play as ODB, the RZA. I mean, whoever you want. Who do you want? Method Man? You got it. So, but whatever. I mean, the weird thing about this game, check this out. I've never seen this before in any other game. So, in order to play this game, like when it starts up, you have to enter this fucking code to play the fucking game. Because it's so violent. Oh, it's just so violent. You can't play it. Bullshit. It's because it's Wu-Tang Clan. Come on. Fucking give me a break. Loaded. These are my big box ones now. We're almost done here. Got loaded. Uh, Top-down shooter. Fuck shit up. Violent. Awesome. The Raiden Project. This has, I believe... It has Raiden 1 and 2 on it. Yeah, it does. Um, this is my favorite shoot 'em up of all time. Um, and apparently this is a very good port. So this is the one I chose to get. But you can find Raiden on Genesis, Super Nintendo. I mean, it's, it's on everything. WrestleMania, the arcade game. Um... This is a fun little arcade wrestling game. Doesn't play like the other wrestling games you play. Plays more like a, I don't know, Mortal Kombat or something. But um, sad thing about this is when I booted this up, I realized that like half of the cast is dead. Pretty dark, huh? Yeah, pretty fucked up. <clears throat> Alien Trilogy. This is a cool game. Uh, if you like the Alien movies, pick it up. First person shooter. Not too not too bad. Cyber Sled. Uh, this was based off an arcade game where you're just in these little cyber sleds and you fight each other. It's a pretty fun game. <clears throat> Ridge Racer. I mean, it's Ridge Racer. We love Ridge Racer, right? I do. And last but not least, Wipeout. Um, Wipeout's one of my favorite racing games of all time. The series is awesome. I used to really suck at these games. I'm still not great at them, but there's something about it. It's like 
It's like Mario Kart for adults, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm not saying don't play Mario Kart if you're an adult, but you know what I'm talking about. Come on. Don't give me shit. Alright, that's my um, PlayStation 1 collection.